Erin, Jonathan LeWise has been so good for you, especially the past month. What was different tonight? Why did he struggle out there? I mean, sometimes you got to tip your cap to the other side. You know, Merrifield does a good job of just barreling one up to get things started. And then Santana was super aggressive. Looked like he got a pitch probably a little uh, up and out over the plate that he could handle and really drive. Gets a big strike out there of of Perez. And then, you know, we're in an infield in situation other than at second. And O'Hearn sh- hits the chopper up the middle. That waiter does a good job of getting to. We don't complete that play. And, um, you know, so some – some things bounces didn't go his way, but the I think the first two guys set the table with with Merrifield doing a good job of getting on base, uh, hitting one sharp, and then Santana really aggressive shooting one the other way. So, you know, good at bats against him. You know, probably wasn't quite as sharp obviously as he's been, but um, you know those things happen. In that ninth inning at bat for Glaber Torres, it looked like he thought that it was a foul tip. Did it look like that to you? I, I wasn't sure. I, I wasn't sure. Um, you know, first thing I was hoping maybe he didn't swing there, but um, so we were just checking. Obviously, not something you can review or anything, but just wanted to see if he, you know, got help or if anyone saw something different from uh, one of the base umpires. And Gio seemed like he was hobbling pretty good down the line there. Do you expect him to be okay for tomorrow? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he got hit by the pitch, so and I think it just kind of stiffened up. Obviously, a little bit of a cold, wet night, so we'll see how he's doing. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Aaron, what did you think of Cole? I thought Cole was good, man. Um, finished really strong too. Um, I, you know, I thought he, I thought he pitched the way he wanted to there, especially in that last inning where he walked a couple guys. I think he just wasn't going to get beat with certain pitches in that spot, and then. You know, had a little bit left in the tank, obviously, for Lopez there at the end. Really finished him off with some great fastballs. Um, but I thought he good, did a good job of mixing. Um, you know, O'Hearn caught him on a changeup that he kind of pulled a little bit. You know, the, the inning they score the run, they get the broken bat single to start things and then roll one in the hole and kind of were set up. But he limited the damage there. And, um, you know, seven really strong innings for us. This was his third start uh, since the Donaldson comments, uh, mm-hmm. all of them good. Yeah. Uh, w- what does that show you about the Well, Garrett's about great, and he's going to navigate this. And, um, you know, I mean, he's a great pitcher with, with great stuff, great delivery, all kinds of weapons. And, uh, you know, so he'll navigate this. Ron Blum, you have the next question. Uh-huh. With Garrett navigating this, yes, but also the strikeouts are down, the rotation rate is down. Is he having to pitch differently because of the Titan enforcement? Well, I think he's I, I think he's showing how good of a pitcher he is. Um, by you know, there's times and you look at a lot of a lot of the teams he goes up against you know, are, are looking to put the ball in play against them, especially jump them early because you know you're not going to – you know you know you don't want to get in deep counts. Toronto does a really good job of that, of being real aggressive early with them and then two strikes, they're just trying to touch the ball the other way. Um, you know, so I, I think it's more a product of, of, of some teams that make some adjustments and try to avoid certain situations against him because they know he can put them away. Go to Ryan Dunleavy. Aaron, what did you think of Luke's uh, voice at bats? And uh, was there an argument there at all to be made for that one being a home run instead of a triple? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a homer. I mean, if if no one's there, I think the ball goes over the fence. So um, a little inconsequential because we score that run there. Um, but, yeah, I, I thought, you know, if, if we strip everything, I think it goes over the fence. No one interfered with Dyson. It was clearly over his glove, but... You know, I understand that's a close call there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, really good at bats. I mean, obviously the homer right out of the gate, the second homer slash triple, a uh, really good at walk, a uh, really good walk at bat. You know, he he, the the at bat where he, you know, we we're stringing together another rally, just a ton of pitches, fouled off a bunch of pitches, laid off some really close pitches. Um, so it was really good to see him kind of locked in from the get go. 
Dave Lennon, you have the next question. We'll take one more with Lindsay Adler after Dave. We have Jonathan LaWeisiga in the room. Hey, Aaron, after the, the second inning, it looked like Cole was kind of looking around at the umpires like, hey, are you coming to check me out or what? It, it <laughs> seemed like I know it's supposed to be a random check, but do you think it kind of get it could get in these guys' heads a little bit the longer the first check kind of goes on without getting it? I don't know. I mean, look, it's it's a it's it's a little weird for the, these guys, you know, the umpires included and for the pitchers, you know, going through that kind of scenario. So, yeah, I'm sure it's a little weird and awkward and not something you're accustomed to. So you, probably the first several times, uh, you know, people will be figuring out how they act, how you walk and you're getting, you know, security checked you know, in front of a lot of people. So it's, I'm sure it'll be a little awkward for, for some days.